This is the Nike sneakers app shock drop tutorial. I'm going to teach you guys all the ins and outs of the app, the tips and tricks along the way. And make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video because I'll be answering questions like, can you pay with the same card on multiple apps? Or if you hit on the shock drop, can you purchase again on the release date? Or another one like, where are the best geographic locations to purchase on the shock drop? So sit back, kick your feet up, grab your popcorn, and let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, you're going to need to download the Nike sneakers app. And it's literally called sneakers SNKR. RS. I'll actually link that for you guys down below in the description if you need any help with that one. This is an official website that is directed through Nike.com. And this is going to be a place where you can typically get most of the limited and exclusive releases that come out each and every year. Also, once you've created a profile on Sneakers app, don't forget to add a profile image. This is an easy tip to allow your profile to not look like a bot when it comes to the purchasing process. So now that you have the app on your phone, the question is, what is a shock drop and how does it work? So to give you guys an example on how things work, we're going to use the reimagined Air Jordan 4. The shock drop for those was on February 6th and the actual release date for the sneaker was on the 17th. So what does that mean? We don't know exactly what day or what time it's coming and that's the whole idea behind the shock drop. For them to allow the product to be slowly leaked out to some of the consumers before the release and it builds more hype and demand leading up to the actual release. But yeah, if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Before we get into all the details and I show you guys real life examples of how the whole process works, we got to talk about notifications and how to stay up to date with the shock drop so we can be on top of it when the time comes. So I'm going to give you guys a few different options when it comes to this and trust me there are a bunch more out there. First one I would say check out the DNA fam, the community. I have the Sneakerhead Academy. The link is down below in the description. If you guys want to join I would love to see you on the inside. We talk about sneakers and real estate and a bunch of different things but we also help each other out when it comes to situations like this on the shock drop and giving each other tips and tricks along the way so that way everybody in the community has a little bit of advantage when it comes to purchasing their shoes another good option is downloading the app j23 honestly i've been using that app for many of years and it makes sense i love it it has a lot of notifications and it keeps you up to date on restocks and things like that as well so that's definitely another good option to have in your phone either way another app that i have in my phone as well soul retriever they have a lot of options when it comes to updates restocks you name it same kind of similar thing to j23 but again it has its own unique features for me as a sneakerhead you know me i got all the apps in my phone i got more than just these three but either way those are a few options for you guys to consider checking out if you don't have them in your phones already now those three apps are essentially paid apps you got to pay something to be a part of them to get the notifications to have the early hand now there's going to be some other opportunities that are going to be in your free route and that's going to be with twitter and this is just a few options trust me there's a bunch more out there as well you got sneaker twitter which we see a lot of people getting information on there when it comes to releases, counts, shock drops, you name it, and a lot of other things in between. We also got Z Sneakerheads, which obviously he has a lot of information as well when it comes to new releases and things that are coming out in the future, shock drops, and a similar thing, a lot of things in between. And another one that I like on Twitter as well is Soul Link. So again, build yourself in that community, get integrated with people, whether it's through the initial apps that I talked about or these communities on Twitter, whatever it may be, these are gonna be ways that you stay notified and tapped in and having basically your ears to the street. Because at the end of the day, if you wanna get the hottest kicks or get the things that you want in your collection for the retail price and not have to pay these resale prices these are going to be some of the things you're going to have to do to get to where you want to be so one common question i get all the time is when do shock drops happen and how does it work based off of what i've experienced over the years shock drops typically happen between the weekdays monday and friday we never know when it's going to happen and it's different every single time because we know jordan's release on weekends so why would they do a shock drop on the same weekend drop but it's not saying that it's not possible, so always be aware. Now, when it comes to the actual time of it happening throughout the day, this is something that's a mixed batch as well. I'm on the West Coast, so I get, you know, sneakers release at 7 a.m. I gotta wake up early and get into the raffle and do all the different things. But when it comes to these shock drops, it's clutch because I get to typically sleep in. I've seen it happen anywhere between 8 a.m. and like 2 p.m. But typically the hot times are from like 10 a.m to 12 p.m. right you know the afternoon time and for example the bread fours which we're going to show today that happened around 11 o'clock another thing to always pay attention to is the time of the year not just the time of the day or the time of the week when they do shock drops or restocks or different things like that and again if you guys want me to make a restock video i can make a video about that on sneakers app as well basically when they do these you have to understand what's happening what shoes coming out next month what's going on this season is it the end of the quarter and if you don't know what the quarter means essentially the year is broken up into quarters you got 12 months 
every three months is a quarter of the year and what does that mean with the big company and corporation they need to sell inventory to make their money so that way they can hit their numbers to keep their jobs so what do they do they restock sneakers every single quarter and we kind of see this trend throughout that time not exactly on the same days and same weeks but you'll kind of notice that you'll see that happen whether it's through sbs or nikes or whatever it is every couple two to three months there's always some type of restock going on so again pay attention during those quarterly times and you always catch another special little shock drop or restock on the app still continuing on with when it happens think about it like this the bread force right the reimagined force those came out on the 6th for the shock drop and the release was on the 17th so that's about a week and a half before but there was a lot of hype on twitter social media instagram youtube all the people was talking about it the whole week before so there was all this anticipation built up and everybody was checking their phones every single day people knew about it the word got out nike still did it but they kind of like made the people wait a little bit longer so again it happened and that was about a week and a half before the actual release i've seen shock drops on average range anywhere from about a week to five weeks when it comes to before the actual release date. If there's ever like a hot sneaker, one of the potential sneakers of the year, the Jordan 11s during Christmas time, everybody expects to see a shock drop right after Black Friday, that week after, there's a lot of anticipation. We know that the 11s are coming out soon. Just again, paying attention to the time and what's going on and what shoes are coming out because not every shoe gets a shock drop. Only select ones that are really hyped and really hot throughout the year. Now, when it comes to the actual shock drops, there's about three different types that we see, but typically there's like the main one, which I'll show you guys in today's video. But the two other types that we have are the scratchets and the sneaker cam. So when it comes to the scratch it shock drops, essentially it's a shock drop on your phone you see it on the app you have to wait for about a minute and then you see a photo and you have to scratch on the photo you know kind of like erase away and then it'll pop up and do like a video and then you'll see the shoe and then you get the chance to purchase the sneaker and then from there you know hopefully you're the first one because it's literally like a first come first serve thing so you got to be on it as soon as you see it happen the other one is the sneaker cam again both of these we don't see too often compared to the normal shock drop this one in particular is going to be a situation like we saw on the Jordan 11s. You have this thing, it pops up, you have to take an image, scan that, it unlocks another thing, gets you to the shoe, then you can purchase the sneaker. Kind of like one of those scenarios. So again, that's how those two work. But the main one that I'm going to show you guys a live example of is going to be the shock drop like we saw for the Reimagine 4. So the first thing that you're going to see is a notification on your phone. Whether it's something from, like I said, J23, a different app or whatever, you might see something that says, hey, there's a shock drop coming. If you don't have any of those and you didn't get any notifications, typically these are the scenarios where you might miss out. Like I said, if you didn't do those things at the beginning, it kind of hurts you later. But if you do catch it, you happen to be on your phone and you see that there's a shock drop, boom, you're in a great scenario. You happen to open your phone at the right time. And don't get me wrong, there might actually be a notification from Sneakers app as well. So always pay attention to that and have your notifications on your phone always turned on for those specific apps. You'll click on it and then you'll see a screen and it'll say shock drop and it'll have an image of the shoe. It's gonna take you to the screen where you have the shoe, the price and all the information and you'll see the purchase button right there at the bottom. Click on the purchase button. Now, like I said earlier in the video, as you can see right here, it shows a face scan ID and then it takes me to the product and the purchase information. For you, it's gonna be a similar scenario. You wanna make sure that you already have all your information loaded into your sneakers app, your shoe size, your card, your shipping address, all those different things to make it the smoothest, quickest process as possible. From there, you're gonna see the option with a bunch of different shoe sizes and your size should already be highlighted. You're gonna click select size and that's gonna take you to your shipping and payment information. You're gonna hit the button at the bottom that says submit payment and it's gonna take you to a black screen that says removing bots and all that information right there like you guys see here on the screen. Like I said earlier, Nike is making a big effort in detecting bots. And like I said earlier, having that profile image on your account and all those different things is going to help you look less like a bot. So now once you see this black screen, you are okay to exit out of the screen or even force quit the app if you want. It's still going to be performing as normal. Now, this is a question I get all the time when it comes to this part of the process. Are they taking my money right when I hit submit? They are not taking your money just yet. They're only taking your money once they actually give you the got them screen. Screen. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we got to know about the process in between because these are a lot of things that happen to a lot of people and they give up too soon. So typically when you're at this waiting process and it says pending at the bottom of the screen right there, you have about a minute to 20 minutes. Sometimes I've even seen an 
hour. I know it's crazy, not often, but that's like the Travis Scott Forest. That was again, a whole nother story. But sometimes I would say it's usually roughly anywhere from like one to 10 minutes on this process. Now, in between that process, you don't wanna just put your phone down and walk away or whatever. You need to stay glued to your phone because what happens is a screen could pop up like this and it can say, didn't get it, so-and-so shoe, whatever, try again, all those different things, right? That doesn't mean it's over. You still got hope. Now, are the chances a little bit lower? Yeah, but I've hit multiple times, so don't worry. What you're gonna wanna do is repeat that process. Now, if you go back to the screen where it says select the size and you see that size still available, but it says it was already sold it out you need to force quit the app and then reopen the app back up and then go back and it should repopulate what sizes are available now sometimes your size is actually available and if you get put back in that loading room you could potentially get a got em. i've seen that before and it's happened to me as well but sometimes what happens is if you're able to go up or down a half a size or whatever you want to do, get a pair of trade, whatever it is that you decide, if you don't get your size, whatever, you can still submit a chance to get another size. So for me, I'm a 13, say they didn't have it. I'm like, ooh, they got a 12, 12 and a half, 14, whatever I decide to do, I can click on that and then it'll put me back in that same waiting room, checking for bots, you'll see the black screen. And then from there, it'll potentially say, didn't get them or you'll get the screen that says got them. So now if you continue to get didn't get them, didn't get them, didn't get them and you refresh your whole app, eventually it'll say sold out with a gray bar at the bottom. But if you do get the shoes, you'll see a screen that pops up that says got them and it looks like this. That right there means you got the shoes and they charged your account for that purchase and they'll be on the way to your house very, very soon. Now, if you didn't get the shoes on this purchase, don't worry because what? It's a shock drop. That means what? The shoe's still coming out and you still got hope. So hopefully you guys are following along and this is making sense. I'm trying to do my best here of explaining and showing you guys examples. Again, if you guys are enjoying this and this was helpful, hit that like button and it really helps me out so much and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I always enjoy seeing new people in the comment section and helping you guys out however I can now let's get into some of the questions that people ask me often and help you guys answer those as well where are some of the best geographical places to purchase on sneakers app shock drops I know it seems like such a specific question but I do hear it pretty often now this is actually funny to say I've hit on shock drops literally on a plane up in the sky I've hit it while I was jet skiing in the ocean I saw I got the notification on my watch I stopped I entered and I hit on the shoes I've hit it on a boat I hit it on a beach I've hit it on vacation I've hit it there and there everywhere I sound like Ray J I've hit in so many different places <laughs> I gotta stop talking about it this way either way yes funny <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. Honestly, if you got a good internet connection and you know your phone's not gonna be just disconnected from no freaking internet, you'll be fine. Continue to enter, do your best on those scenarios. Obviously, the faster it processes and get through, it'll help you a little bit better. But either way, don't worry. When you see it, you got it, you're good. Just go ahead and shoot your shot. Now, another question is, can you pay with the same card on different apps when you see the shock drop? So for example, me and my wife, she's here. I put my card on her app as well. I try to hit, I try to double up, I try to get a second pair for her, whatever it may be. I try to do that and I use the same card on the two different apps. So yes, it is an option. You can do that if you would like to, to make it a little bit easier saying, hey, hit your homies up. They don't care about sneakers, whatever it may be. Just add your card to it, but you gotta be able to trust them so they don't just purchase shoes without your authorization. And then that way, when something does happen, you can hit them up and say, hey bro, I need you to enter for me real quick or mom or sister or whoever it may be that's helping you get that second pair or increase your odds or however you'd like to consider that. So I hope this video was helpful and good luck to everybody on the next shock drop i can't wait to see you guys in the next video and again if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button and if you want to be a part of the community hit the link down below in the description i can't wait to see you guys on the inside i would never let you down also just to let you guys know we just dropped some new hoodies and t-shirts the size 13 tees but i made sure it's universal for everybody so it says size but if you look in there we got the one and the three for the size 13 gang we got the black we got the gray and the white, new hoodies in gray and black. All the links will be down below in the description or pinned directly in this video. I'm excited to see you guys rocking it. Whenever you cop something, make sure you guys tag me on IG so I can see your fit. Listen, my DNA, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down. Listen, my DNA, the 